Hello, it's my channel. I'm Lydia. Lydia Life. This is my channel. Lydia Life. <laughs> Today, I wanted to share with you all a new perspective and opinion that I had regarding one of the world's all time favorite party substances, that which is cocaine. I personally do not really consume cocaine. I tried it once and because I'm curious, right? I tried it once. Never done a line or anything. I've only ever had a bump of it. And I didn't really understand the appeal. I just felt very much wide awake and I didn't sleep. I only slept like two hours and I know how important it is to sleep. And because I wasn't able to fall asleep and I only rested for two hours and I felt okay, I was like, something's not okay. That, uh, that stuff's not healthy. That's what I figured. So I never really touched again. Plus it's really expensive and um, it can be so dirty and laced with stuff. And I just, I didn't touch it since then. But recently at Halloween, I did indulge a little bit you know people had offered me a little bit and i had a little bit and i i understood the appeal at that time i i felt the boost that it gave me and i, and I was talking and it had so much energy and it was fun <clears throat> but um it's easy to want to overindulge with that substance and that's why people <clears throat> tend to get addicted to it and um people who indulge in cocaine and MDMA uh, or just cocaine and drinking, there's the one, they are the ones who feel the shittiest the next day at the festivals. You can tell who has been using what substances just by like what, how rough shape they're in. Um, so that's another reason to go cautious on it. But while I was tripping on LSD, I came to certain conclusions about the different substances that we use and I've come to the conclusion that cocaine is actually a disrespectful drug. And the reason that is is because cocaine like a lot of the a lot of other drugs uh come originally from medicinal plants. So cocaine is no different. It comes from the coca leaf which is a sacred plant medicine of the Andean peoples of South America. This is their uh, sacred medicine. It is a natural medicine. It's a plant that cures almost everything. Headache, stomach ache, nausea, fatigue. Uh, it cuts your appetite a little bit. It helps people work all day and, and uh, stay strong in that high altitude. It's a very multi-purpose sacred um, healing plant. And in order to make cocaine, a lot of people who consume cocaine don't know this about cocaine, but in order to make cocaine, uh, those leaves are, are, are um, toxically transformed into cocaine. Like it's a very toxic process that the leaves undergo in order to extract the substance that makes you high and concentrated and um, uses gasoline and all kinds of other stuff that I don't even know about. but that's not the that's not the intended use of this leaf um, plant medicines are not just to get you high all the time uh, they are, they can be used for doing good and uh, yes it can also make you feel good but it's important to remember if even with all substances that no good thing lasts forever we can't be high all the time if you're high all the time, then, then suddenly you don't know what high is anymore because you're used to it. You need to have contrast. And that is exactly why our bodies also become used to certain, all substances if we our, our tolerance builds up because we get used to it. So yeah, it's important to remember that. And I find that cocaine is disrespectful because it is not an intended use of the sacred plant medicine that which is the coca leaf. And it causes so much destruction, physical, 
uh, destruction, self-destruction. People ruin their lives because of this substance. They become addicted to it and um, will even kill other people in order to get money for their cocaine and stuff like that. Really ugly stuff. And the people who um, produce and, and help, help sell this drug get involved with a lot of crime and violence and so so for these reasons it's it's disrespectful and also unethical because when you buy cocaine it it's, it just supports so much violence and also self-destruction for those who do consume and, and are prone to addiction so even though I, I understand the appeal for cocaine it wakes you up and everything sorry about that I understand the appeal for cocaine, but um, due to the fact that it's such a disrespectful and harmful substance, I do not want to consume it for ethical reasons. It's almost like how certain people want to become vegan or vegetarian to um, to do less harm for the planet, which also appeals to me. Um, cocaine is one of those substances that I just I feel like it, it's unethical to use that and it's disrespectful to the Andean people to use cocaine and I very much have a strong connection with Latin America and um, it just feels disrespectful to me to partake in cocaine I've experimented with it um, I'm grateful that it didn't turn out anything bad it was okay uh, I didn't get hurt or anything, I wasn't in any situation of danger, and um, I want to ask forgiveness to the Indian people for having misused their plant medicine in this way, uh, with all due respect. I really hope that in time uh, there will be no more crime and violence because of this toxic narcotic that's been created out of the sacred coca leaf so that's my take on cocaine um i really find it unfortunate that people become so addicted to it i mean i can get just a good just as good a buzz off of caffeine if i wanted to like and it's not toxic i don't know i feel like cocaine is really overrated for that reason and um it's almost glorified, you know, it's so expensive and it's almost like trendy and you have to be able to afford it and it's, it's just not worth it, guys. There's so many other great drugs that are safer and do less harm for your body and I'd like to know what you have to think about my theory and perspective on this substance. And I'll be sharing with you my perspective on MDMA in another video. So I hope you like this one. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That helped me out. That helps me out and really motivates me to keep uh, making more videos. And I love to hear from you in the comment section as well. So, and you can turn on the notifications as well. One of my buddies was telling me that, but I'm still at low on the number of subscribers. I don't know if that helps me or not, but you know what? Do everything you can that helps me. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone is feeling balanced and not hitting any substances too hard, hitting any foods too hard. Everything in moderation is the way and too much of anything is not good for us. So, yeah, just stay balanced out there. Thanks for watching my video. Have a great day. Bye.